Hi guys, this video that I'm making today is uh, on a special request by many many students who asked me to make uh, a video on errors in suspense and this is from one of the past papers. So this is one question from the past papers that I'm solving here. There are two types of errors which accountants do in accounting. One is that that does not affect the trial balance and the other type of errors are those which do affect the trial balance. So whenever we need a suspense account it is when, when the uh, accountant has made those errors which uh, which affect the trial balance so it's affecting either side of the trial balance because of which you need a suspense account a suspense account is a temporary account through which you basically balance the trial balance so uh, whatever side is heavier so let's say debit is heavy credit is light so suspense will come on the light side uh, with the difference so um, and in another case scenario, if let's say the credit side is heavy and the debit side is light, so suspense will come on the debit side in that case, uh, but with the difference, like with the difference in both sides. So you need to calculate the difference uh, difference of uh, in the trial balance and then write suspense and then put it on the lighter side and then of course the trial balance will balance. Uh, so what you do is that suspense is a temporary account uh, we, through which we correct the errors that are there uh, which accountants have made. So here is an example question. It's from May June 2022. Uh, IGCSE and O-levels of course. Uh, also it's paper 2 variant 3 and question number 3. So if you look here, uh, Mozi is a trader. Uh, the totals of his trial balance at 30th April 2022 did not agree and the difference was placed in a suspense account. So Mozi later discovered the following errors. So they are giving you five errors. Part A, usually in the suspense account questions, you can they can give you um, an incorrect trial balance and expect you to basically correct it. In this question, they are asking you to prepare journal entries uh, for these uh, errors that you need to uh, make to, in order to correct these errors. So basically what you'll do here is that, okay, error number one is commission received 96 uh, had been debited to the discount received account. So basically the bank account was correctly, the entry to the bank account was correctly made. So whenever you receive a commission, you basically do debit bank and you credit commission, which you are supposed to do. But what you did was you did debit bank and you did debit discount received and you did not credit commission. So in order to correct this, you basically need to uh, firstly credit the discount received account. You write here discount received. In order to remove it from the discount, discount received account, you credit the discount received account and you write here 96. Uh, then in the to record it in the commission received account, you write here commission received and you write here 96. So basically you put that in the commission received account. So now you don't have anything to debit in this case. You just have two credit entries but you don't have any debit. So you write here suspense debit. This is basically error number one, suspense debit Y192. So 96 plus 96 is 192. Okay, then the second error here is uh, the total of the sales journal for April 2022, 1258 was transferred to the sales account as 2185. So this is a wrong amount that you have transferred to the sales account, which means that sales accounts, a normally sales account is credited. So what you did was that you recorded 2185 on the credit side in the sales account. So now with the difference, you need to debit the sales account in order to basically uh, remove the understatement in the sales account so the understatement is by 927 so what you do is you do a sales debit and you write here 927 and again you don't have anything to credit so you write here suspense and credit it by 927 okay the third error here says a check payment for motor expenses 77 had been omitted from the bookkeeping record so what you do is you, you write here uh, motor expenses debit and this will be 77 and then because it's a check payment you need to credit bank this is this is this is basically error of omission and this affects both the sides of the trial ban so you don't need suspense in order to correct it uh, this basically will affect the debit side and the credit side both of the trial balance. So it's basically uh, you don't need a suspense account in this case. In the fourth error, they're saying a payment by electronic transfer 135. Electronic transfer is basically the bank transfer that you make from one account to another account. 
uh, that was for 135 was recorded as a payment in the petty cash so petty cash is basically used for small cash payments uh, bank transfers are different bank transfers are basically the bank account is being created in that case um, in case when you are recording this and uh, in the petty cash so that means you're crediting the petty cash so what you do is to correct it you need to debit petty cash by 135 and you need to credit bank by 135 so you basically remove it from the petty cash and then you put it in the bank basically you credited credit the bank account in order to show the payment from the bank account okay error number five is interesting we are saying an invoice received from tracy 160 was credited to the account of stacy what they have when you whenever you are receiving an invoice so one one thing invoice is a business document that is received when purchases are made on credit okay uh, so here by the by the language of the question I can say purchases are made on credit and they are made on credit from Tracy so what you needed to do was purchases debit Tracy credit but what you did was purchases debit Stacy credit so both Stacy and uh, Stacy and Tracy are your um, trade payable so this basically this error is error of uh, commission if uh, there's another video of mine in which I have explained errors which uh, which don't affect the trial balance, one of the errors is error of commission in which you, uh, the class of account is correct. So both are your trade payables, both are your liability, but the account is wrong. So one is, one Stacy is another person, Tracy is another person, you're buying goods from Tracy, but you're writing it in the account of Stacy, which is a wrong thing to do. So what you do is that you need to debit Stacy now in order to remove it from Stacy's account 160 and credit Tracy here and you credit Tracy by 160. So you're putting, putting, you're putting the amount in, the, in Tracy's account and removing it from Stacy's account. Okay, that is for a good 11 marks, which I think is not difficult. In the next part, they're saying prepare, a, prepare the suspense account and include the original difference on the trial bands as a balancing figure. Okay, important thing to note here is that in some questions, they do give you the difference on trial balance. In some other questions, they don't give you the difference on trial balance, okay? So uh, when they do give you the difference on trial balance, the advantage is that when your suspense account balances, you get to know, okay, all my journal entries are correct. But if they don't give you the original difference in trial balance, you don't need to worry. What you do is that uh, just leave the first first line so that you can calculate original difference in trial balance and then basically put whatever entry like let's say in the first entry suspense is being debited so what you do is you need to record this on the debit side you need to write discount received you write here discount received 92 and you write here commission received 92 basically suspense is being debited these accounts are being credited in 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 uh, discount received account and in commission received account you need to write suspense on the credit side in the suspense account you need to write both of these on the debit side and the amounts and then uh, in the next part basically suspense is being credited and suspense is being credited by 927 so you write here sales and you write here 927 so when you take out the difference that is 927 minus uh, 190 okay sorry this was 192 uh, this is 96 and 96 and basically this adds up to 192 if you take out the difference 927 minus 192 gives you uh, so the lighter side is now the debit side so that means the difference in trial balance will come on the debit side you write here difference in trial balance and you write here 735 and that's it now your account will balance at 927 on both sides so that's it and then in the next part they are saying to they are asking you to correct the profit that mozi calculated okay so mozi or did all these errors and then he calculated a wrong profit that is a draft profit and that uh, which uh, which in which the errors were not incorporated so before correcting the errors that the profit was 39,970 which is of course wrong now what you have to do is that you need to correct this profit okay so what you do is that uh, you need to identify which accounts are basically the income statement accounts only the income statement accounts are going to affect the profit that is very obvious here because 
uh, where do you calculate profit you calculate profit in the income statement so all the things that come in the income statement basically affect your profit so here when you you need to mark so discount receive commission receive both are your incomes both come in the income statement uh, sales does come in the income statement that's the first value you start your income statement with motor expenses comes in the income statement petty cash bank stacy tracy all of these don't come in the income statement so the first three entries are basically first three uh, journal entries are basically going to affect your uh, profit so in the first case discount received and commission received both are credited that means incomes are increasing in that case that means which should this this should increase your profit you write here add discount received uh, and commission received and sorry for the really bad handwriting okay so you write here 192 which is 96 plus 96 adds up to 192 you add it because this will increase your profit then what you do is that sales is being debited so sales being debited means that sales is decreasing which means your profit is going to decrease by 927 so what you do is revenue is decreasing so you write here less sales and you write here 927 and you write brackets around it which shows that you need you're subtracting it then you write here less motor expenses and you write here 77 because motor expenses are being debited which means an expense expenses are increasing and increasing expenses which means profit is going to decrease so you need to subtract that and then what you calculate is basically 39,970 minus uh, 9, 927 minus 77 plus 192 will give you 39,158. Uh, 39,158 is your corrected corrected profit basically so that's it for this question i think it's pretty easy students can do it very easily if they know uh, if they know that uh, what account increases on what side so let's say incomes increase on the credit side decrease on the debit side and you need to read the question very very carefully because in this it's about reading as well reading is very very important reading carefully okay so also one more thing if you want to find the question you need to go to the description and find the link to this solved uh, solved uh, basically the solved document that i'll put up in the link in the description uh, so thank you so much